Wandering Winder here with more Dominion and um hmm well you can draw here with the villages and the draw the thinning is kind of bad there's just scrap and sauna stuff guide helps against ghost ship I think I'm on for sauna silver actually just because it's the best trashing This, I think I want to be a ghost ship. Probably get a second silver before switching to fish fills. Maybe, maybe I just take the scrap. I think the ghost ship will do me good though. Yeah, I should probably take a scrap here. Let's get card action here. I'd love to find silver. Didn't get there. This will now be a fishing village, I think. Another fishing village. And I'm going to want swashbucklers. My next three is going to be guide. Eventually I'll connect my silver. Come on, don't ghost ship me. You probably are ghost. No, no ghost ship. Okay, so I can get to swash now. This is going to be a coin and I think a horse is better than taking the second silver at this point. Want another guide. Your deck is getting to be under control. The next one is another swashbuckler, I think. <clears throat> You're a little bit low on village, maybe? Maybe not that low. probably do want to scout here. What am I going to want to buy? Maybe a walled village. Or I could scout again and just buy a candlestick maker is more convenient plus buy. Now let's take the walled village for now. We have a guide down this turn, so I think what I want to do is call my guide here. That means I want to flip these around. Okay, your deck is going pretty swimmingly. I really need the other swashbuckler here. Um, two 
villages down there. Probably want to buy. This is seven money right now. Take a horseback. Get another swashbuckler and a candlestick maker. And I'm going to need more villages soon, but this is okay. This is a good hand. I'm not even going to call guide. Good. This wasn't that great of a hand from you. That's good for me. Now you're taking a couple guides. Okay, so here I think I want to scout to get closer to drawing stuff. Maybe I don't actually scout. That hand has a swashbuckler. It doesn't have a walled village. It does have a fishville. Probably want to scout. Keep the horse and the sauna, I guess. This bottom card should be my other swashbuckler here. This doesn't look like much of a turn. That's really good for me. Let's just trash a copper here. Trash another copper here. Now nine and two buys. Um, could be walled merchant and a village. Or wine merchant, walled merchant, lols. This is another excellent hand. Okay, now I think I'm pretty ahead. like to continue my turn here. I obviously want to get the silver back for hmm, for my sauna. The bottom cards here are sauna and ghost ship. So I definitely want more draw now. Go Swashbuckler Walled. Okay, this is going to be a call guide hand. If I get attacked, I assume I'm getting attacked. Yeah. I should be able to take the chest here as well, which should be really good. Then I can really just mostly focus on grabbing more draw, and I should be in good shape. Okay, I do get to a swashbuckler, thankfully. Last card here. A bit unfortunate that it's the scrap. I think we'll be okay. Gotta trash more coppers. Okay, so now having a lot of draw is good. I kind of just want more draw. Because I have a ton of money. So if I just maintain reliability, uh, I should probably add some uniques, huh? So like a scheme. I 
I have one extra terminal space at the moment. I'm thinking something like scheme swashbuckler candlestick maker. Just don't need much more wine merchants. I think we're going to try to call guide again here. We want to take the chest back. And we should be able to overdraw enough to be okay. We are going to need to start scoring soon. So we are a little bit up on scoring thanks to having the sauna and candlestick makers that you don't. Okay, pile, pile. That's something to be aware of as well. Card, action, silver. Thank you. A yeah, bit annoying to have to do that, but we'll manage, I suppose. This is 13 and 4 buys. Okay. So I think I want the province and honestly, more draw. Like province swashbuckler wall. It seems reasonable. How many buys do you have? Like, you can't win against me if I do that, right? Yeah, there's no way. So province swash, that's 9, 17. I need to get to 19. And on top we want a swash. Great hand to call guide on. We're just going to start like heavy provincing here. A duchy soon. Probably, maybe. You know, it also depends a little bit on how much you lower piles, but I guess maybe not just how much, but also how. In what way? Oh, um, I'm probably still gonna call guide here. This just isn't a very good starting hand, and. I think I can do better. This could be something like province duchy. No, you're getting just double province. You're leaving your wine merchant stranded. That's surprising. Hold on, there's one in the trash and two on your mat. One in my deck. You only have one left. You only have like three buys now. You've 
realize this. Okay, this makes a lot more sense. Okay, we do get to Asana here, or to Swashi here, rather. I played this in a bad order. I've wasted a coffers. Um, I can get another coffers here if I... Let's actually check for wins. Um, two, three, four. I could get to five buys. I don't have enough money to get five provinces, so it doesn't look like there's a win. So in that case, I think I want to get the extra coffers by scrapping silver. Take... Action, silver, horse. Horse is two points. I'm taking the action so that I can play this swash now and still get a coffers. How much money is this? This is 12, 12 plus 4. I could triple here. I don't think I really want to triple here. I'm just going to take province and a duchy and some stuff. It'd be more reliable for next turn where we try to win. So province, duchy, and oh, okay, we're just resigning. Oh, I could have done more than triple. I can't count apparently. Anyway, thanks for watching.